I have been a lifelong Windows user up until about 4 months ago when I got my MacBook Pro and I have fell in love with this operating system and the whole ecosystem experience. In this video I will show you 10 things that have surprised me coming from Windows to Mac. So number 1. Spotlight Search. This is the feature that I've been needing my whole life on Windows. So basically what this feature does is when you click command and space, it opens up the search bar and on the search bar you can search for absolutely anything on your uh, Apple ecosystem, like anything on your MacBook, even on your iPhone and anything in your iCloud as well. And you can type anything and it finds it instantly, even photos, like maybe you need to find this uh, uh, subscribe button. So no problem, find it instantly and it even finds your voice notes that contain these words so for example if i've typed sub subscribe here it finds those voice notes that contain the words subscribe so it's really fast and it's really unbelievable it's so bad that windows didn't have anything this good number two the trackpad the trackpad is actually amazing like i've tried using trackpads on other windows laptops and they always feel so cheap and like unnatural to use so even on laptops that i had i had to use a mouse because i just never really got to using the trackpad but this trackpad is something else like it feels so good to use i know you can't really see this from this video but using it is really nice like i thought it was just hype when other youtubers were talking about it but it's really nice like there are a bunch of gestures that really speed up my workflow like this uh, three finger swipe up that brings up all of my open apps swiping right to go back on the web page it just feels so natural to me because it's the same on the iphone as well and also to right click you have to use this uh, uh, two finger click which was really confusing at first but it kind of makes sense now because on other laptops you have to just uh, single click uh, like single but the single finger click the right side in order to right click but you have to two finger click anywhere to right click but and also the trackpad doesn't actually move it's a vibrating motor that simulates a click take a listen number three how fast it boots so you know on windows when i had my laptop i had always had to shut it down completely because if i just close the lid the battery drains really fast with being kind of in hibernation mode but on this macbook i don't ever have to shut it down i just close the lid and when i need to use it i just open it up and i'm back to where i was and the battery doesn't drain like at all so being able to use it and turn it on fast was really surprising to me and I wish Windows laptops could also do this without draining the battery fast. Number 4. Using Command Q to close programs. So, uh, what's kind of weird on Mac OS is that when you press the close button, it doesn't actually close the program, it just kind of closes the instance of the program that you click the button on. So, for example, I have this document open and when I click the close button, it doesn't actually close the program because on the app doc you can see the a dot below the program that means that it's not actually closed and to fully close it you have to do command and Q to fully close it. Number five copying from iPhone to Mac and vice versa. So this is pure magic but what you can actually do is really cool you can uh, copy like a photo or some text or like a file from your iPhone and you can paste it on your MacBook uh, or on your other devices which is really insanely cool to me like I feel like I'm in the matrix when doing this because it really speeds up my workflow. Number six, the command key. So basically the command key is like the control key on Windows. So when I copy or paste or I like undo something on Windows, it's control plus C, control plus V or control plus Z. So on Mac, it's command plus C or like command plus V or like command plus Z. So this is kind of different because I'm not really sure yet what the control key is used for on Mac because I've used it maybe once or twice on like a shortcut that I googled that I desperately needed but other than that in my four months of usage I have pretty much never used the control key on my keyboard. Number seven, screenshotting is harder than it needs to be. So in order to screenshot on Mac it's a three key combination. So shift plus command and either three or four. So shift plus command and plus three, for example, depending if you want to screenshot the whole screen or just a small cutout. And I feel this is kind of a bit too much just to screenshot, like you have to press too many keys. But I like it that on Windows it's just a single key press print screen and it saves it to your clipboard. But I guess I get it, it's a laptop, so they wanted it to make it as compact as they can without any extra keys, so... I guess it's fine. Number eight, installing software. So 
In order to install something on your MacBook, you can either use the App Store, it works exactly like the App Store on your iPhone, which is super easy, but most of the programs that I use are not on the App Store, so I have to install them manually, which is super easy as well. So what you have to do is go on the website of the program that you need to need to download, then click on download and just drag and drop the DMG file into your applications folder. And that's it, which is really easy. No need to click like 10 times on some installer. And to uninstall, it's uh, the same pretty much. You just drag and drop the program into the trash and you're done. Whereas on Windows, you have to go to settings, remove a program. It takes quite a while and sometimes it leaves some files behind as well. So like it doesn't uninstall fully. So this is easy. This is great. This is it's it's very Apple. Number nine, screen resolution settings. So on Mac OS, when I first got into my settings, I saw that my screen resolution was set to only 1440 by 990 which I thought why is this the default resolution and why is it so low like why is this such a low resolution doesn't look bad on my screen as well so I tried to turn it up to the max resolution which for me was 2560 by 1600 on my MacBook and as it turns out all it does is just uh, set the screen scaling to bigger or smaller and it doesn't actually change the resolution like it does on Windows which is kind of weird to me i don't know guys leave it in the comments if you can actually change the resolution i'm not sure yet okay and number 10 the most important thing that i noticed was how this operating system feels it feels really premium like everything is just buttery smooth opening and closing animations are clean and satisfying everything just works like there are no glitches weird quirks i've never encountered an instance where something was frozen or it didn't want to close or anything like that it's honestly a great experience using it every day it's fast responsive and most importantly it's reliable i know that all of my apps and everything will work all the time no matter what and it's really refreshing coming from windows so for all the mac os users out there that i cover everything what was your experience like switching from windows to mac os i'd love to hear your stories in the comments below thanks for watching and if you want to see more content just like this please like and subscribe